Hey guys, Sean Hammond with Premier Guitar here again with another Gear Spotlight, and we have Jerry and Ford from Breed Love Guitars again. Guys, how's it going? Great. How you doing, Sean? Doing well. Good to see you again. Uh, we recently did a video from a similar series from what you're going to show us today. It's all part of the um, Eco series. Is that right? Correct. Which we'll and be launching later this month. Mm -hmm. We're excited about this. Now, yesterday we talked about the more entry-level series, the Pursuit, I believe, and today we're going to talk about the Discover, right? Discovery series, which is yeah, kind actually, of in the middle, yeah, right? Correct. Actually, the, the, the Pursuit is uh, the, the step up. The Discovery is the entry level, which is oh, what okay. we're uh, spotlighting okay. today. Okay. So give us the so, lowdown on this. Yeah. So what I'm playing here um, is a, uh, a concertina, which is a 12-fret our version basically of a parlor and a little slightly different body shape uh, than a parlor but it is it has all the attributes you know same uh, air mass volume uh, the 12 fret it gives you a little more a uh, little more volume a little little fuller sound what we're the most um, excited about is that all of these guitars in the eco collection are made from sustainably harvested woods uh, the uh, the tops are all this one in, in particular is a red cedar top, and the back and sides are mahogany, African mahogany, and unlike other laminated guitars, these these are laminated backs and sides, and other, unlike other laminated uh, laminated guitars, all three lam all three layers of the laminate are the same tone wood. So this is three layers of African mahogany, and again all FSC certified, all sustainably harvested. So by virtue of using three layers of the same tone wood, you have a much better, much fuller sound. And this guitar here in particular is going to street for $399. That's crazy. I mean, it's just That's unbelievable nuts. how good oh, wow. this guitar sounds. Now, as you were explaining in the previous video we did of the uh, Pursuit series, Mm -hmm. you I, I didn't even know this until you had mentioned it, but I guess it's pretty standard practice with laminates uh, for the middle layer, the middle layer of the three layers to kind of just be whatever is on hand. That's your experience? Right. Typically, yeah. Typically, the uh, uh, when, when you, if you say it's a mahogany back and sides on a guitar or walnut or uh, rosewood, whatever it might be, the inner ply on those, uh, on those laminated guitars are always a mystery wood. It could be poplar. It could be Luan mahogany. Uh, you never really know. But in order to control the manufacturing process of this and to ensure that everything is sustainably harvested, uh, we make sure that every single inner ply of all of these tone woods is African mahogany sourced mm -hmm. in the Congo uh, from a protected forest. So uh, when we say sustainably harvested, we truly mean it. It's not just a catchword or a buzzword for us. It's, uh, mm -hmm. it's, it's absolutely true. It's the the, the uh, cornerstone of what we do as a company. Uh, and with this, the introduction of this series, every single piece of guitar, every instrument we send out from the low end to the upper range will all be sustainably harvested, no clear cut wood, and it's we couldn't be more excited about or more proud of uh, this accomplishment. That's really neat. Again, kudos for that. I, it Thank sounds you. like, I mean, not only is it really cool that you guys are doing that from an ecological and sustainability standpoint, but I imagine it's got to make the guitars much more consistent in their responsiveness and their tone. Very much so. And, and like I said, you know, when you're using uh, a real tone wood for that inner ply, all of a sudden, all of the guitars are brought up to a new level uh, as far as tonality is concerned. Uh, for example, the guitar that Ford is playing here is also a uh, mahogany back and sides. But this has a solid Sitka top, and Amazing. this is a, a concerto. This is our version of a dreadnought. Again, same air mass uh, volume as a dreadnought. Uh, very full sound. Uh, hit a couple chords there. Yeah. Now, Ford, Ford does a lot of session work here in Nashville. Uh, would you say this would be a great recording guitar? Yeah, I could I could say like we just had Guthrie Trap play it, who's you know top notch bluegrass electric, 
blues and country guy, and he played it, and uh, I don't think he had a clue that the thing's $500. Oh, he, was, he, was, he was totally blown and, away and, when we told him what the prize was. We, we kind of germ this guitar. Like, when we're standing on the outskirts, and me and Jerry aren't recording or doing these videos, we'll be standing on the other side of the building, and Guthrie was doing a photo session with this guitar, and he was playing, and it was kind of like, wow. And I asked Jerry, I said, are all of them like that? Like, yeah. do they all sound, and his answer is, yeah, they're consistent, because it really sounds... Very much so, yeah. It sounds like an, you know, an old... Uh, Classic, you know, mahogany back and side spruce top guitar, that like a cannon. This could be a bluegrass cannon, you know. It's great. Nice. Yeah, so now, we're excited. Mm -hmm. Now the the pursuit series that we talked about before mm -hmm. in another video, but guys, be sure to go watch that. Um, those had laurel fretboards. Is that the same thing here? Yes, these are all laurel fretboards, and the, the I should say the pursuit exotic series. Um, is all uh, myrtle back, sides, and top. Oh, okay. Yeah. And we're hearing these guitars through, you have a couple of mics set up in the room mm -hmm. uh, that sound really good, but do these models that we're seeing right here come with electronics or? Mm -hmm. this, one, this one is strictly a, uh, an acoustic, uh, no pickup. Uh, it's our entry level at 399 But the one that Ford is playing uh, has a Fishman Priestess one. And um, under the saddle transducer, yeah. it's a great little pickup. I mean, uh, built-in tuner, um, a phase button for, uh, uh, feedback. for feedback control. It has a contour, which is a semi-parametric EQ type thing. Um, it's a great little, Sounds great little system. Sounds excellent. Yeah. It's really good sounding. Sounds great. Okay. Well, are there any other specs or uh, background things you want to tell us about these guitars, or do you want to play us out right after you tell us where to go to find out more online? Well, uh, to find out more online, you can go to breedlovemusic.com. Yeah. Don't forget to hit subscribe, everybody, so you don't miss any more videos like this. All right, take it away, guys. Thanks, Sean.